Rosie Perez, welcome to the Daily Social Distancing Show. <laughs> Hi, thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing good considering everything that's happening in the world. Better now that you're on the show with me. Um, before we get into the show that is blowing up everywhere and people are loving on HBO Max, The Flight Attendant, I wanted to talk to you about the journey you've had with coronavirus because for many people, coronavirus is this new thing that has disrupted our lives. Your life has also been disrupted, but not many people can say that they had coronavirus in December of 2019. Talk me through a little bit of that journey. Sure, we were in um, Bangkok and uh, filming The Flight Attendant, and actually it was the last of November. And um, uh, I just immediately hit me like a ton of bricks knew something was wrong. I was feverish. I had a horrible cough. Some, it felt like someone was stepping on my chest and I was very lethargic and I was very scared. And when I was on set, um, I kept laying down in between takes. Actually, Kaylee Kuku uh, Instagrammed a picture of me laying on bed. She came and laid on the bed with me. Nothing happened, but anyway. <laughs> <so> <laughs> So um, they called the doctor on set because I was I became that weak, and the doctor said that um, I had to rush to the emergency room immediately. Wow. And when I got there, it was like it was like a movie. I mean, they took my vitals in the waiting room, and then all of a sudden, all these people came with all the PP, you know, E, and rushed wow. me in. And I was getting scared. And the executive producer, Meredith Lavender, had come with me as well as my manager, Tark Karanathani. And they're wheeling me in with on, on a gurney. And I said, oh, my God. And then Tark said, can I go with her? And he, she said, are you kin? He said, no. And um, I was like, oh, stupid. You shouldn't say yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so then Meredith says, I'm her sister. Now, Meredith is blonde and blue-eyed, typical-looking white woman. And the, the, the doctor looked at me, and I go, in-law, in-law. <laughs> 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 and uh, they let her come in, surprisingly so. But she couldn't come in the room that they quarantined me in. Right. And uh, the emergency room doctor had told me they put two IVs. One was a red bag of I don't know what. And the other one was your standard IV. And she was asking me, is it okay? For I said, give me everything. And I told her, I said, I feel like I'm dying. And she said, well, we think that you have this new respiratory tract infection that we don't know exactly what it is, but it is coming from from China and wow. a lot of tourists are getting it, but we don't know exactly what it is, but we do know that it, it, it's rapid in the destruction of your body. And I, and I just closed my eyes and I remember seeing just my husband and my sister and my father who's deceased. And I said, oh my God, don't let me die in Bangkok. And she laughed and she goes, you're not gonna die. I said, you just, told me that doomsday is upon my right. <laughs> And um, yeah, so they fixed me up, um, you know, well enough that I was able to finally leave the emergency room. And I remember her last words to me was, never go outside, never stand in front of another person without a mask. You're not only protecting yourself, but you're protecting others. That's why I have my mask on with you because I don't want you to make me sick. And what you have, is very, very serious. And I said, but what is it? What's the name? She goes, well, we don't know yet. It, it, it really is amazing that you not only recovered, that, but then made it a mission to educate other people about how to stay safe. I mean, like, you know, you're a lifelong New Yorker. When you agreed to go to press conferences with Governor Cuomo, when you agreed to be part of these briefings, when you agreed to be part of this, what were you hoping to, to, to help achieve for New York as a whole? For them to wake up, to understand how deadly and how serious this was and that we had to respect each other more. Just like that doctor said to me in Bangkok, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted New Yorkers to respect one another. I wanted Americans to respect one another by wearing a mask. It's just that simple. I've helped the governor uh, with other things like with his Hurricane Maria relief and all of that stuff. But for him to call me, I said, wow, I told my husband, I said, isn't that crazy how the world works? Right. And so when I was there at that co press conference, I was holding back the emotions. 
I really was because I didn't want to 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 have that be the focus. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, so I know what you mean. Yeah. I just wanted to be very adult, very mature and say, listen, man, this is real. Mask up. It's as simple as that. If that can help, do it. Do it. Let's talk about the new show. It is generating quite the buzz and it's a really fun conceit. You know, the flight attendant. When I saw the title, I was like, oh, this is cute. What is this going to be, like a romantic comedy? Is this going to be just like a straight comedy? And it's like, no, this is a dark, but sometimes funny and really gripping show about like a murder mystery. And when the show started, I remember being like, oh, Rosie, this is wonderful. You're playing such a nice character. This is great. But now I'm not so sure. And I don't know what's coming up because the show, we can't binge it. It comes out weekly. But it seems like you play a really shady character in this world. You will find out. You will find out. That's all I could say. I can't. But Megan is, uh, my character, Megan Briscoe, she's definitely keeping a big, fat secret. And um, and it's, it's uh, you know, slowly going to be tearing her apart. And and um, also, she, you know, I love playing Lee's character because at first the uh, executive producers, um, you know, had in mind her being a little bit more tough. And I said, no, this woman is menopausal. She hates her life, her middle class life, which is actually fabulous, but she just can't see it. And she, her only friend is Cassie Bowden, Kaylee Kuku's character, who doesn't feel the same way about her. I said, that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. Right. And, Without judging her, I wanted to bring something special to it. You know what I mean? And that I know exactly what you mean, yeah. What attracted you to the show? Why did you go, no, it's Rosie Perez. I'm gonna do this show. Um, a drunk flight attendant that sleeps with first class passengers and then wakes up uh, next to one of her conquests and he's dead. I was in. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I turned it down initially because I can't stand traveling. I detest it. I hate the whole thing. Really? Yes, I cannot stand it. And the show, weren't the locations around the globe? Yes! That's what Kaylee, Kaylee, Kaylee Kuko, to, to her credit, refused to take no for an answer and met with wow. me. And she said, you know, it's called the flight attendant. You know? I said, yes, that's why I'm saying no. And, and we were cracking up and after an hour that was supposed to be 10 minutes, um, she charmed my ass off. She just did it. She did it. But inside, I was like, oh, my God, I'm so in. I'm so in. And, you know, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad she 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 did that. And and um because we had a blast. And everybody on the cast is stellar. Just stellar. They really are. I loved it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you now, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that she chewed you, you know, chewed your head off for not doing it. I'm glad that she pushed you. I'm glad that you said yes, because... It's amazing seeing you um, on anything, but really in this show has been a ton of fun. I can't wait to see what the secret is. Rosie Perez, thank you so much for joining me on the show. Thank you.